This is about 100 kilometers south of Ternopil in Podolia, but the Volingen massacre also took place here. In 1945, on Ash Wednesday, bandits murdered more than 100 people from a village that had existed here for 400 years. We remember these days, the victims of the Volingen massacre. We say it is about 100,000 people, or maybe more. We also remember the perpetrators whose goal was to drive such a wedge between the Polish and Ukrainian peoples, so they could never again live together in peace. We call for all burial sites to be found, so that the victims can be exhumed and buried with dignity. And we will not rest. I will not rest until the last victim of that terrible Wuhan crime, the crime of Eastern Galicia, is found. This is our responsibility. This is our legacy. And we owe it to all those who lived there at the time and survived or did not survive the hecatomb. But today we find ourselves here at a special time, at a special time when a tyrant is trying to destroy an independent, sovereign and free Ukrainian state. And we must be aware, we Poles and Ukrainians too, that without clarification, without writing down this Volinian history, to the very end, Russia will always use the Volinian card to drive a wedge between Poles and Ukrainians. We cannot allow this to happen. We are still missing 380 people, witnesses back in the 1970s as I spoke with them, and in the 1980s, they showed and described more than 30 places where we will still expect to find these people to this day. Today we know that this life in peace is very important for us, for Poles and for Ukrainians, our cooperation. But its basis and foundation can only be the truth, can only be deeds, not words. Such a deed is being done here by Polish archaeologists who are looking for dozens or hundreds of victims of the Wuhan massacre.